just cook fish. Tangigi fish. I make mukbang fish. I can sleep. I sleep early and then I wake up because Sahira is wake up then she start crying go to our room then next room then I wake up I cannot sleep back so I'm just cook this one for my mook, mook this is mukbang fish early in the morning <coughs> um here there's a what you call that there's a there's a news about the meningo coxinia coxinia like that there's a one kid brain in the hospital here in the Maguete. I don't mention the name because I don't want to be in trouble. So one of my, one of Uncle Sahira sent me some awareness. So I look at because I'm sleep early. When I'm wake up, I look at my phone. Because I don't want to be get boring when they are watching movie. And then I saw that message. I cannot, I cannot sleep back. I'm just wondering why, why it's happened, why it's like that. Where's the kid from? They said the kid is from Cebu, joining the Sinulo. I don't know what's the true story about it. But it's spreading, it's pre, it's already in Dumaguete. They said that the one hospital is already isolated because of that problem. And if you go to town, they said if you go to town, you need to wear a mask. So I'm just, oh my god, we cannot go, go out like, like before with no mask. Now we just buy mask. For me, wearing mask is kind of helpful, but it's kind of something not looking good because you make, <laughs> I don't know how to explain that one. Because the other day we've been in hospital because one of my daughter, the, the oldest daughter, is she got a uh, allergy. And then, because the allergy is already... I don't know is the allergy of the ear or what they call that she get from the ear. I don't know. Excuse me. So I decided to bring her in the hospital. So to have check up. They have my older daughter and my youngest daughter is the same doctor. So they said they <laughs> she said that because I'm allergic also before I'm allergic. I cannot eat something so like dried fish oh my my face is going swollen like that then I don't want to be living like that in the shell that you will be get allergy no so I just fight with it I just force myself to eat what is not good to me but it's nice it's working now I can eat anything it's not showing up. I hope so. Only God knows that. Now we we back that we have been in hospital. We have been chick. I just bring my daughter to have chica, and there's a family. They're wearing a mask. Then I just look at just like, huh? It's <laughs> just like this one wearing a mask. It's feel I, I'm not comfortable. Yeah, 
not wearing a mask. It's nice. You can they can what you call that the virus, but it's feel to me. Uh, what you call that? It's feel to me and. I'm not in with that mask, but if I if we need it, I will I will do it. And now there's the news about that. Oh my God, it's I cannot sleep. I'm just wondering. Only God knows what happened in this world, what's going on. Because a lot of the news they have also in Cebu. Then next month I plan to go back to Cebu. I plan to visit my family in Cebu. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't. You, you cannot. In my mind, you cannot stop because you know what? I'm traveling with my two daughters, so I need to be protect of them because I don't want to be sick because it's not really easy. not really easy to be sick you know what I mean guys maybe I'm paranoid about that but sorry this <laughs> is me and you know the the shopping center is close with that store here in the market I can just stop thinking about that guys. And now that kid is bringing to the public hospital for examination and we have planned also to visit some of the some of our friend some two friends that is is not is the is what you call that? It's just like uh, my close friend before family is there then every what ha what happened we just try to visit because they're old woman and old man so I need to visit them but now I heard the story I'm scared <laughs> I don't know This is what I feel, guys. Then I told my partner, or I told him about that, and he said, "Oh, if it's going, if that is going worse, no one, no one go to town." So, I think this is it. We stay at home in the house, except going to school, but not going to a lot of people, joining a lot of people because it's you don't know what what is happened to them, and it's really hard to know about that. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. If that is, they said the government here said that nothing to worry about that. That's what they said. Not nothing to worry about that because it's not. No, that's the virus, like blah blah blah. But you know, the people spreading the news, what's going on, that you've been already asleep when you wake up, you saw that message that be careful, like that. Right? And some of my parents is confirmed already that. 
the kid is been there in that hospital because one of my friend her husband is get admitted to other hospital and one her friend asking if they're still in hospital they are still in that hospital and they said no we're in the other hospital but we are already charged discharged so I can tell that this, uh, I will not get worried, but I cannot stop because I have two kids here. I need to protect them. So, I don't know. If go to school, we wear a mask. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just paranoid mama here, but I don't know. But if your family's health like that, you need to be what you call that way. You do whatever you want. Because it's not easy your family get sick. Especially baby. No. So this is what I eat guys. I will left this one for tom to this morning for breakfast. So, bye-bye guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget, like and subscribe my channel. Me and Zaza Super Adventure. Bye-bye from Dumaguete guys. Bye-bye. Have a nice morning everyone. Sorry. Have a nice morning everyone. Bye. See you around.